Imagine a remarkable weapon that could unleash immense destructive power without using dangerous nuclear radiation. It might sound like something out of a science fiction story, but it's actually a plausible concept. Let me introduce you to the innovative Rods from God weapon system, developed by the US military during the Cold War. To understand this concept, Let's first clarify the idea of kinetic weaponry. These are weapons that use their speed and mass rather than explosives to cause destruction. The key principle engaged here is kinetic energy, which is energy based on motion. The heavier and faster an object is, the more kinetic energy it possesses, making it more destructive. Throughout history, various kinetic weapons from simple arrows to bullets, railguns and missiles have been used for their efficiency and simplicity. However, they have limitations in terms of range, accuracy, and penetrating power. Now think about the devastating potential of a massive metallic object rapidly descending from space and hitting a specific target on Earth. Imagine this massive object, made of dense and rare tungsten, plummeting from the exosphere, thousands of miles above the Earth. When it strikes its intended target at supersonic speeds, it delivers an enormous amount of kinetic energy, obliterating a wide range of ground targets. This is the core idea behind the Rods from God concept. Initially known as Project Thor, developed by the United States military during the Cold War. The Outer Space Treaty, created by the United Nations in the 1960s, openly forbids the use of nuclear weapons or other destructive tools in outer space or on celestial bodies. This treaty is crucial for preventing military activities in space. However, enforcing these rules can be challenging as some nations don't always follow them faithfully. The idea of using kinetic weapons has a long history. The strategy of throwing heavy objects at enemies as weapons has been around for a long time. During the Vietnam War, the United States Air Force used lazy dog projectiles, small but tough steel weapons with fins that were dropped from high altitudes. These projectiles could reach speeds of nearly 500 miles per hour and could penetrate jungle canopies, lightly armored vehicles, and even concrete structures to a depth of 9 inches. The advantage of lazy dogs was that they were lightweight and cost-effective for mass deployment. Unlike cluster munitions, which can leave unexploded dangers, lazy dogs didn't have this issue. Issue. Building on this idea, the creators of Project Thor aim to expand the concept. The core of this concept is similar to firing bullets at a target, but with a unique twist. Instead of losing speed during descent, these projectiles gain speed and power, causing massive destruction upon impact. Imagine a barrage of bullet-like munitions speeding toward a jungle or a specific target, causing widespread destruction when they hit. Jerry Pornell, a US Army veteran and Boeing operations researcher, envisioned this unconventional weapon system. After his involvement in the Manhattan Project and witnessing the Soviet Union's first nuclear test in 1949, Cornell came up with the idea of using giant rods made from incredibly strong materials and dropping them from suborbital heights. These tungsten thunderbolts could strike heavily fortified targets with devastating force, leaving them in ruins without the harmful aftermath of nuclear fallout as seen in incidents like the damage to Iranian centrifuges or North Korean bunkers. Drawing on his extensive knowledge of aerospace, Pornell combined his skills in journalism and his interest in military science fiction. He named his destructive masterpiece Project Thor, though the catchy name Rods from God caught the public's attention. In technical terms, this creation was known as a kinetic energy projectile, a high-speed and dense weapon capable of defeating enemies without the need for complex mechanisms or explosives. Unlike the use of many small projectiles from low altitudes, Project Thor used a single massive projectile launched from suborbital heights thousands of miles above the Earth's surface. The heart of the Rods from God idea involved a set of massive rods, each as large as telephone poles, measuring 20 feet in length and 1 foot in diameter. These massive 24,000 pound rods, once released from their orbital paths, hurtled towards Earth, reaching hypersonic speeds close to Mach 10 before their catastrophic impact. While the Lazy Dog projectile could handle light armored vehicles or simple structures, 
The creators of Rods from God aimed for a level of destruction typically associated with large underground penetrating munitions. These enormous rods penetrated deep into the ground, easily breaking through even the most fortified bunkers or hidden underground structures. Remarkably, upon impact, they created a disturbance similar to the aftermath of an underground nuclear explosion, but without the harmful radioactive fallout. This incredibly powerful weapon could obliterate a designated target in as little as 15 minutes, showcasing its speed and overwhelming force. Interestingly, its propulsion method didn't solely rely on gravity. For a long time, the military had used Kinetic Energy Penetrators, or KEPs, specialized projectiles housed within an exterior casing called a sabot. These projectiles were launched at incredibly high speeds rather than descending from the sky, effectively penetrating heavily armored defenses. This concept underpins the US Navy's electromagnetic railgun, which can launch a 25-pound hypervelocity projectile at impressive speeds, making it capable of piercing formidable defenses. Whether they come from the sky or are fired from a cannon, the fundamental principle behind these weapons remains the same. The application of a dense, high-speed projectile to the enemy. The kinetic energy projectile is a significant element in modern warfare, representing ongoing military innovation. In 2013, the US Air Force's 846th Test Squadron, in cooperation with experts at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, achieved a milestone by launching a kinetic energy projectile made of tungsten at an astonishing speed of 3,500 feet per second more than three times the speed of sound. In recent times, the Pentagon has conducted experiments using standard U.S. Army howitzers to test the Navy's electromagnetic railgun's hypervelocity projectiles. The Navy aims to equip this advanced cannon with the ability to launch shells at speeds of up to 4,500 miles per hour, with five to six times the speed of sound. Explosives often steal the spotlight in terms of destructive power, but there's an elegance to kinetic energy projectiles that's worth considering. So why didn't kinetic energy projectiles, especially the famous rods, gain wider acceptance? Ironically, their perceived simplicity hit a colossal expense, primarily due to the immense weight of tungsten used in their construction. According to NASA's estimates, in today's era, it costs around $10,000 to transport one pound of mass into orbit, which translates to a massive $240 million for launching a single rod into space. In the basic, relatively basic rocket technology of the 1960s, the cost would have been even higher. During the Cold War, each such rod carried an eye-popping price tag of $240 million, widely seen as prohibitively expensive. In more recent times, the appeal of kinetic energy projectiles like the famous rods from God has waned. Surprisingly, even the Bush administration, after 9-11, contemplated using these projectiles to incapacitate underground nuclear facilities in rogue states. It's worth noting that when the Minuteman III Intercontinental Ballistic Missile ICBM, debuted in 1962, it cost $7 million, which adjusted for inflation equals a staggering $57 million. The problem with nuclear payloads is their inability to penetrate deep underground, and the risk of radioactive fallout from a nuclear detonation poses grave dangers to nearby regions, potentially affecting friendly territories as well. Much like Russia's massive Tsar bomber, the United States rods from God concept, though never realized during the Cold War, was never entirely abandoned. After the 9-11 tragedy, as Western forces pursued Al-Qaeda operatives hiding in the rugged terrain of Afghanistan, the idea of hypersonic bunker-busting weapons gained prominence. The envisioned hypervelocity rod bundles concept involved a group of six-meter-long tungsten rods launched from a variety of space satellites, with their paths precisely calculated to target specific underground sites. The US military believed that such an arsenal could be deployed within minutes, offering a much faster response compared to conventional intercontinental ballistic missiles. As far as we know, the HRB concept didn't become an official project, mainly due to the extremely high cost of launching such a significant amount of tungsten into space. However, it's worth noting that Chinese scientists currently exploring the development of kinetic hypersonic weapons, which adds an intriguing dimension to the landscape of military innovation. Researchers from the North University of China, located in Taiwan, Sanji Province, 
has made significant progress in the field of kinetic energy projectiles, KEPs, in collaboration with the Intelligent Weapon Research Institute. They have achieved impressive speeds, launching tungsten rods at nearly 6,700 miles per hour, which is nearly nine times the speed of sound. Their findings present an intriguing scenario in which these projectiles, precisely launched, collide with a fortified concrete structure. The result is nothing short of astonishing, as it generates a high-pressure shock wave, turning the target into plasma and causing it to liquefy. While the practical applications of kinetic energy projectiles are mostly theoretical, the prospect of a floating Thor's hammer orbiting our planet is within reach, but still on the horizon. However, if KEPs prove effective in combat, they have the potential to revolutionize the field of weaponry, surpassing even the formidable MOAB, mother of all bombs, as the most potent non-nuclear weapon in the Pentagon's arsenal. The Rods from God concept, although intriguing, faces various challenges that hinder its development and implementation. The primary obstacle is the substantial cost involved along with complex logistical issues related to the launching and maintaining of these devices in space. Additionally, the vulnerability of the weapon to anti-satellite technologies, including missiles, lasers, or jamming devices, poses a significant threat that could disable or dismantle the satellites before they can deploy their powerful rods. Ethical and legal concerns also arise, as this weapon violates several international agreements and ethical conventions. These include the Outer Space Treaty, which unequivocally Specifically prohibits the placement of weapons of mass destruction in space, and the Geneva Conventions, which categorically forbid the use of indiscriminate and disproportionate force against civilians and non-combatants. Moreover, the deployment of this weapon raises moral and humanitarian dilemmas, casting a shadow on the potential for extensive suffering and destruction among the targeted population while introducing the risk of a retaliatory response, whether nuclear or conventional, from the adversary. Finally, the effectiveness of the weapon may not reach the level initially envisioned due to the tangible effects of hypersonic impact on both the physical substrate and the surrounding atmosphere. Recent research in China, published in the Journal of Acta Astronautica, suggests that the rods may lose an estimated 40% of their mass and 30% of their velocity due to the erosive and plasma-induced effects caused by air resistance. This significant degradation in kinetic energy and penetration potential raises concerns. The study also suggests that the rods may deviate from their intended path, influenced by aerodynamic drag and lift forces, introducing uncertainty, reducing accuracy, and diminishing reliability. If you like this video, click on the screen to watch other videos like this one. Remember to like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell to get notified when we post a new video.